Hi everyone, it's Dwellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. Um, I'm just here to um, show you the project I've done for um, Lily Lineker's uh, Christmas challenge. I think it's her 1500 subby challenge. Um, and you have to alter um, or any kind of item, a box. Um, oh, my mind's just gone totally blank. Um, anyway, you can alter anything you want um, in a Christmas theme. Um, cards not accepted as entries, but anything else is fine. Um, and Lily wanted them done in the colours of um, cream, white, ivory, champagne, pearl and silver. Um, just those colours. But you don't have to use all those colours. Um, as you can see, that's not any of those colours. Um, this is actually just to to amuse you while I'm um, talking. It's a box I bought for eight dollars from a charity shop. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to alter this at some stage. Beautiful Japanese print. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so the deadline for this um, challenge of Lily Lineker's um, is, I think, the 15th of November. Fabulous prizes. So, uh, and, and there's a surprise twist to this challenge. So pop on over to Lily's um, channel and check out the challenge um, and check out the amazing prizes. So um, I'll put her link um, in the description box below. So without further ado, after you've looked at this gorgeous, gorgeous box here, look at this. Isn't this wonderful? This isn't wonderful, of course, but they are th the rest of it's wonderful. Sorry about that. Okay, so there is my challenge for Lily's. Um, sorry, there is my entry for Lily's challenge. I'm getting it all back to front. Must be too late at night. Um, as you can see, I've done mine in the colours of mainly white with cream, champagne, and ivory, and silver, of course, to add the sparkle. So this is a very, very 3D. Um, as you can see, that's considerably higher than the base. Now this started life as a Winnie the Pooh. There you go, look. Winnie the Pooh box. I hope you can see that. And what I've done is um, I got it for 50 cents from a charity shop a few days ago. And what I've done is I've altered the lid. So there's the lid. Okay, so this is, as I say, the lid of the Winnie the Pooh box. Um, and the first thing I did was, um, look, I've put everything away now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to be skitting all over the place. Right, I was going to film this earlier and I'd forgotten. I put everything away, tidied up. First thing I did was I covered the box with this um, beautiful pearlized paper. And over the top of that, I put this um, beautiful, it's almost transparent. It's almost like a cloth as well. It is a paper. Um, it's got beautiful silver, sheeny bits all over it. Absolutely beautiful. So that's what I put the two of those to cover the Winnie the Pooh, huge Winnie the Pooh and Tigger picture on the front in bright oranges and yellows and blues. Um, so that went on first. Next thing I did was I put this trim around here. Maybe you can see that. Um, it's a lovely um, organza and beautiful um, sort of um, pearlized little beads in it, all twisted around it. Um, the next thing I did was I put a white doily down here, which is like in a star shape. And I um, don't think I've got it up enough. Sorry. Here it is down here. There's the trim there around here. That's the white doily. On top of that, um, I put this quite thick wooden die cut, which I bought from a shop in the city. It's in a lovely ser um, serrated star shape with a big serrated um, hole bit in the middle. Uh, I painted that. It was in plain wood. I painted it in 
two layers of gesso and then one layer of um, antique white or maybe, sorry, not antique white, just plain white and then I mod podge the whole thing and sprinkle the beautiful pearlized glitter all over it so that's that I put it on a slant, as you can see there's the base of the box and there's the thing up there um, and I've put, that's Wild Orchid Craft Tuscany Rose these are rolled cream rose, satin roses this is just a fabric rose from my stash Wild Orchid Craft Orchid in white and these two here are Wild Orchid Craft Orchids um, which I covered in Mod Podge and then sprinkled in silver glue uh, glitter, silver glitter sorry <laughs> there's an organza flower down here with a little um, pearl, uh, little crystal centre there's a bit of um, crystal bling in here ok then we come next idea was um, I had this lamp light which is actually a um, Avon perfume bottle from the 70s and I had it as part of a collection I was actually going to put it into an op shop a few weeks ago and for some reason I didn't and this must be the reason so I decided that I was going to alter this and put it as part of this project so I gessoed it two or three times over the glass and over the top this is the, the top here which just screws off so I won't screw it off for you um, and then I glued it on and I wove around this um, silver trim of ivy leaves at the base climbing up the lamp I put Wild Orchid Craft um, open roses in cream and Wild Orchid Craft Tuscany roses in a off-white so I hope you can see that down there Pause here. I've got a stick pin there with pearls and crystals that I made and a little silver bead there that just positions in there around the back over here I've got a um, an open rose that was in my stash and piece of silver fern. Ok down um, here this is part of a ribbon sorry I'm totally disorganised I was very organised earlier but I had to clear everything away so this is part of this ribbon here it's a beautiful Christmas ribbon from the heirloom Christmas shop in, uh, in the city not far from me so I cut out a couple of the different stars, one here and one over here, the snowflake here and a star here put them there um, then I started working on this area over here and I found this beautiful gossamer material, this fabric in an op shop, which is a thrift shop uh, a week or two ago must have been a curtain or something a sheer curtain, absolutely beautiful shimmery, gleamy, gossamer fabric um, so that went on there and I built it up so it's standing about two inches above and it sort of ripples and and then inside of it and uh, along the edge of it I put Wild Orchid Craft roses of various types and a bit of Wild Orchid Craft um, champagne bling in there and some silver fern right at the back here and that silver fern came from this delightful piece here, a little shimmery glimmery and silver ferns are um, one of New Zealand's emblems as well as kiwis so um, that had to go in somewhere of course down here, oh there's another stick pin I made sitting in here, that's a silver heart and some various things there um, this is a, a, a metal sleigh it's a vintage piece um, probably from about the 1960s used to be bright red well, in fact up, up to yesterday it was bright red um, and I gessoed it a couple of times and then put covered antique white paint and as you can see I've put flowers around it and um, I'm trying to stay here there's the other side of it quite pretty um, so inside of this I put, um, I made a little organza bag, or actually gossamer, the same fabric as this one at the back, and I made up some little parcels, like Christmas gifts, and wrapped them in this, um, that lovely paper again, with the silver print on it, so 
just tiny I put some s tiny silver beads this bead string there around them so that's in, that's just waiting in Santa's sleigh there's a tiny little chip well he's not too small he's about an inch just over an inch high that's a button it was gold and I gessoed it a couple of times um, he's standing guard over the over Santa's gifts because Santa's gone off for a cup of coffee I think this delightful little boy here which I decided just belonged there that's, he's all dressed in champagne he's a little Victorian boy out in a stroll collecting his um, his fir tree or a branch of the fir tree he's on his way to choir practice this actually was originally in this hand and it was green so I painted it um, white and put sparkles on it and managed to get it into that hand and in this hand I put like a little scrolled up music sheet because he's going to church to practice in the choir for Christmas carols or maybe maybe they're just joining a group and going around the village as they do um, his head came off a few years ago so I finally glued it on uh, yesterday and popped him in and he's just gorgeous isn't he he's just spotted Santa's sleigh sitting there in the snow and he's highly delighted because he's not going to steal anything because he's a choir boy but he wants to just go over and check it out and make sure everything's all right as curious little boys do at that age um, round the sides covered in the same pa paper room two papers as the top is and I've put this lovely um, ribbon trim which is white satin and there it is I bought that from um, a local shop well a shop in the city same place that I bought the, um, the silver vine trim yes yeah, so there's pearls there's str strings of pearls around here just following there's strings of silver the tiny little silver beads which are down here and um, all round here just bring that up closer and hope that you can see it so there's the um, so I've got sort of the whitey colours and the pearl colours at the front round here and at the back I've put all the um, the more darker champagne and cream colours so you've got the white you know it's the contrast of the white at the front sitting on the snow base and um, the cream at the back there um, to tie in with the little boy who's little Victorian boy who's all dressed in champagne and he's just so delightful I love him now that he's got his head back on I can see why I loved him years ago and um, so we just come around here show you the side without knocking the lamp on my lamp the back there and uh, I hope the light is actually picking up all the beautiful glitter it's just um, you know under the under the light it just glistens there's a little piece of bling here oval and white with diamantes all around it the light I'm very pleased with the way the light turned out or the lamp should I say it's a Victorian lamp and um, it just goes very well with the Victorian boy with everything really that I wanted to to do with this piece um, I just wanted it to be a very eye-catching very special um, centerpiece at Christmas time and I, I I feel that I've achieved that um, you know, I've never done anything like that before, but for me, it just feels that I've, you know, managed to get it. Um, so th that's what it looks like. Something quite special for maybe for sitting on a table in amongst all the Christmas goodies and just looking beautiful. It's just, you know, a purely decorative piece. And I was so pleased that. Um, that over the years I've kept that sleigh because I, I, I hated it. You can see a little, I have to paint, touch it up with paint where I've put some glue for the pearls that's come off a little bit. You can just see the red colouring underneath, so I'm going to have to touch that up. But it's, it's a delightful little sleigh. I used to have two miniature teddy bears, jointed teddy bears that I made years ago sitting in it. It looks so much better on this. And I was actually, it was earmarked to go to the op shop 
along with uh, with this lamp, well, perfume bottle. So it, it actually pays sometimes to keep these things, doesn't it? And I particularly, I, I do like the little cherub sitting there playing his viola, I think it is. So there you are. I hope um, I hope Lele Lily likes it, or loves it. Even better, love it would be better. Um, and as I say, do go over and check out her her challenge because um, well worth entering. And um, yeah, I, I I think you know you could have a lot of fun with this one. As I say, the prizes are amazing. Um, she's very very generous. A um, lot of lovely items from her shabby dishes shop on Zibbit. Um, so, um, you know, really, 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 really wonderful to win. And second prize is um, a cash prize. And third prize, I'm not going to tell you about because that's part of the twist. So you have to go in and sort that out yourself. Unfortunately, this is actually just too tall and too big to actually post over to Lily. Otherwise, I would. But um, I hope I'm not making you giddy here. I'm sort of going up and down, panning all over it. Anyway, um, there we have it. That's my entry into Lily Lineker's um, 1500 Subby Challenge. So pop over and join us. Bye.